Hello everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here with a VIP Kid video. I am excited for this video. We have a lot to cover. Number one, I'm doing a dino giveaway the month of May. And then number two, I am also doing a lot of teacher shout outs in this video. You guys can head over and give them some loving. And last of all, I'm going to give you a tour of my classroom. The very first video I did on YouTube for VIP Kid was my classroom tour. And that was over a year and a half ago. So I'm excited to update that and keep you posted because I think it's important to have your classroom adjust and change as you learn best practices, as you start applying things that are effective in class, then your classroom should adjust as well. We don't wanna get stuck in the routine of doing what worked last year or two years ago. It's important, I think, as educators to also be a student. So I am a student, I am learning, I am growing, and I hope that I can share this with you. Remember, I've been teaching for over two years, so I did not have all this stuff at the first. Keep that in mind. Don't feel like you have to have a classroom above and beyond. Just if you have children, steal all their toys. <laughs> All right, number one, how to enter the dino giveaway. Dinos are coming out my ears. Brand new dino, fresh out of the package. This is what second place to the Beijing trip looks like. <laughs> that just goes to show you how important a dino is. If it's second place to going to Beijing, we know that these are loved items. We love them. I, I'm pretty sure it's a dino. I haven't opened it. May 31st is the cutoff, and then I will pick randomly, pick someone, and that person will be contacted on June 1st. So the very first May, June, yes, June 1st. And I will just leave in the comments, here is my email, shoot me an email, and that's how we will exchange information. And then I will send it in the mail to your house, and then you will take a picture with Dino. How do you enter? Number one, like this video. Number two, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ooh, ooh. And the third thing is leave a comment below with your favorite prop or reward system that you use frequently. What is your like go-to? I love the minimalistic, the minimalist, the minimalism, the minimal's life. I like to keep it minimal. I think that it's important to not get too many things because then you stop using them. You really do. You forget. It's like when you have too many clothes, you're like, oh, forgot about this bad boy. I was buying more clothes. Look at this perfectly good shirt that I love that I forgot I had. <laughs> Let's do some teacher shout outs. Number one, this shirt. Now I got the shirt at Walmart for $3, but VIP kid teacher. The Iron On On was created by Teacher Mel and she is on Etsy. I will leave her info below so you can go over there if you are interested in creating a VIP Kid Teacher t-shirt. $3 at Walmart and then you just buy her little rhinestones. And I put it high enough that hopefully you can see it in class while I'm teaching. Or I could stand up and be like, yeah. Look what this says. <laughs> I often do for my rewards, I do a lot of whiteboards. For my younger students, I do a lot of secret pictures, so maybe I'll draw a line each time they earn a star. Probably not with that color. Maybe with this neon pink, I have a ton of colors. For my older students, I might do lines, so I have them guess. No, there's no E. Next time, guess. My older students, like level six, they like to do it back. So I say, where's yours? Okay, I'm gonna guess. And this is from teacher Jennifer. Hey, hey, you, you. I will leave link below her YouTube channel. She is awesome. She has 2D props. She's the master. I was like, my jaw is on the floor. Like, let me let me get that up. <laughs> how, how have you created all of this stuff? And it looks amazing. So I printed off her find a star. I love that activity. So what I did, just kind of, I put magnets on the back. It's just the magnet tape. So this entire thing is a magnet. And then I bought a magnet board at Walmart. So this find a star, the student will choose a number. And then if they have the star behind it, voila! But maybe they picked three, no star. I'm sorry, Timmy, so sad. So I have a bunch of different printouts. It has boy ones, girl ones, all of them, tons of them. And look how cute those little eraser is. She also has printouts of the characters of Meg and Mike. And they have the monsters, they have all the characters in there. I did not laminate them. I printed them on non-tear paper because it was cheaper. All about cheaper. So I printed them out in this file folder. That's where all my finest stars are there in the front. These were from the get-go. So this reward system, we had a Google Drive and that's where I got all of the rewards. I'm gonna show you which ones I use frequently and I don't use these very often anymore. They're just laminated. This was in my very first classroom. The first month I started teaching, I needed these. So I'd use the spider reward and I do use the monkey one. 
and the rest, not really. Those are probably the two that I use. There's a teeth one, but it's easier for me to do that on a whiteboard. Teacher Janice, she works with her husband on an Etsy shop, and I was so excited to see her supplies. She has reward systems, and I printed off this is the background, so I'll just stick it to my magnetic board. I wanted a handheld handheld one. This can stick on my wall and then come off, but I really love this. I love bringing it close to the camera, far from the camera, and with this one, I can just stick it on with magnets, and then they get to earn either bedroom supplies or they earn penguins, and let me show you what they look like. They're adorable. Her husband designed them. And also, if there is there are any promotions, so after I upload this video, there may be a a sale. Hmm. Check in the description box, look at the link, and she will have a sale going on close to the time I upload this. And I will keep you posted if sales come. I'll say, Janice, let me know when sales are going because this video, I want to keep them posted on when you have a sale or a new product. So bed I can add, mom and penguin. Oh, and here's baby penguin. But let's all look at grandma penguin because that hair, that is on point. It's nice because hers caters to the VIP Kid curriculum. So she has some apples that are emotion, so you can use those for the feelings lesson, and you can really cater it to the specific lesson you're teaching. <gasps> you earned a penguin! <gasps> Dad penguin. A couple people have asked me where I got this Cute little green guy. This is actually on Usborn. Usborn, did I say it right? I used to say Usborn and I looked up how to pronounce it so I wasn't embarrassed. <laughs> it's the What If Monster. So I got this from, it's Gina. She sells Usborn and she is an advocate. What are they called? Consultant? I don't know. Fill in term that you call those that do Usborn. That is what she is, and she's awesome. She has a YouTube channel I will leave link below. I love the books because they fall in line with the curriculum. So it really, if you already have the books or if you already have some books that fall in line with the curriculum, great for fast finishers, great for props, right there to enhance your class. Let me show you. I rotate the books out of here. Well, Ava does. She'll take books out and I'll say, oh, where'd that book go? <laughs> ABCs, find things, book that came with the What If Monster. So I always use him as the green monster when I'm doing dialogue. Happy birthday, Nancy. You get all the Nancy books. <laughs> I love reading Fancy Nancy to them. Now that's only if there's time and I always give them the option. Would you like to play a game or read a book? Or if it's a student I always see, we might only do half of the book and the next time we'll finish the book. So I do like to do that as a fast finisher. And with my older students, I have them read. I hold it up to the camera and they read it. My younger students, I read and then I'll have them fill in the blank or I'll like circle around the picture and have them fill in what I want them to say. So it's not just teacher talk. So I really do want to avoid like at the end of my lesson, let's just have me talk. Hmm. No, this is for them to talk, them to engage. I just like having this bag of books. Oh. And that brings me to my last teacher shout out. That is teacher Rayanne. And she has an adorable YouTube channel. Hi, have you ever tried to teach someone how to read? It can be a time consuming process. And I think that if you can teach a slug to read, you can teach anyone to read. And as I'm talking about books, those are manipulatives. Those are things that I have hard copies of. She does book readings on YouTube. And she's a VIP kid teacher. Because sometimes we're on the road. Sometimes I don't have all these books with me. And I use these personally for, for my daughter. So Ava, I'll say, let's watch a book. Let's watch a reading of a book. I hope that you guys head over there and just kind of check out what things um, she shares there. Because she does upload frequently. So you always have some new books. She shares her library that maybe you don't have those books. Caps, caps for sale. You wanna see my, my classroom now? Okay, I cleaned it actually, and I thought I need to video right after I clean it because let's be honest, if you have kids, <laughs> it is clean for a hot second, and then all my food is mixed up. My veggies are mixed up with my fruit. I can't find my apple. That's a wrap.